I was contacted by a local high school to make a tower for their upcoming musical, Shrek. Sorry, some of the pictures are from my iPhone. I started by getting some general measurements of the stage, the stage height, some of the angles, and the area I had to work in. Then I went into SketchUp and designed up a couple proofs so that I could show the director to help her visualize what it was going to look like. Here are the stairs leading up to the second story. They're hidden from the audience's view. Here's an aerial shot. There was an existing platform that came off the stage. I just reinforced it a little bit. Once I started building the stairs, the upright, and then the handrail, it all went together pretty quickly. Here you can see I started to attach the styrofoam. I used foam board adhesive. The little plywood chunks are screwed into the structural member until the adhesive cures. The radius of the tower is seven feet. That's about as small of a radius as you can go with the one inch styrofoam to avoid cracking. Here you can see that I drew lines with a Sharpie marker for the size of the block. On the right, you can see it after texturing. I also attached other styrofoam around doorways and windows to give it a little bit more depth. Here you can see more of those plywood blocks that are securing the foam until the adhesive cures. The foam went up relatively quickly, it's just the texturizing that can be a bit tedious. Here you can see me with a heat gun going to the grout lines. The grout lines can be created with a router with a cove bit, or you can even just use an X-Acto knife. If you have a hot wire cutting tool, that would also work. I like to do the grout lines first and then come back and do the field of the brick. You can vary the depth and the texture depending on how long you leave the heat gun in one given spot. You want to vary how much time you spend in certain spots over other spots. You want to give some voids and some valleys and then leave some almost untouched. Heating up the styrofoam doesn't give off many fumes, but I wear a charcoal respirator just to be safe. You can vary your grout lines with different router bits or just cutting different types of channels. You can also see marks from where I've used a SureForm tool to try and get some of the joints to line up a little better. You want to avoid as much squeeze out of the adhesive as possible. It's a little bit hard to shape that stuff and it doesn't texture with a heat gun. Once you get in a rhythm it goes pretty quick. Here's the completed styrofoam with grout lines and the texture added by the heat gun. It's definitely starting to look like brick, but it looks even better once you start getting the paint on. Here you can see where the foam panels come together. To eliminate the view of any type of seam, I just use a little drywall joint compound and once there's paint on it, the seam is invisible. Here I started to spray on the base coat. It's always nice when some of the high school kids want to help out. My wife was nice enough to help out with the vines and the ivy, which gave it a real finished look. The vines are attached using floral wire cut into about one inch long pieces and then bent into a staple shape and then you can just push them in by hand. She did a really nice job on the bottom to mimic any type of ground cover or moss at the bottom of the tower. Here you can see more of the ivy. I also went over and airbrushed some of the grout lines to give it more depth. This is what it looks like with all the stage lighting on it for that particular scene. The window at the top I actually backlit with RGB LEDs that faded from every color in the rainbow. I just put some diffusing window film in front of it. Here's a close-up shot of that backlit window. Some pictures to illustrate that on the far left it looks like the castle or the tower has depth, but as you look around it you can see that it's only about as thick as the styrofoam and then the stairs that go up behind it are not visible from the audience. Here are some of the actresses up in the tower during one of the last rehearsals. All throughout building this project, my son wanted to meet the princess. One of the perks of the job, I guess. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.